Hi, I'm Pauline. I'm an artist and I draw and paint botanical and animal life. I'm making some Christmas ornaments today. I started with some sketches in my sketchbook and just picked out some things that I would like to be an ornament. I've chosen a few different elements like a moth and an owl. I then transferred the sketches onto some cardboard. It's about three millimeters thick and then cut it out with a knife tool and some scissors. Please be careful when you do this. I then started to paint. I'm using Holbein Acrylic Gouache and it's an acrylic paint that dries up and then cannot be reactivated. This is practical because it doesn't get smudgy and you can paint easily over it if you want. I'm also painting the side because I think it's a bit prettier, but you can leave them if you want. And then letting it dry completely. Then I did the second layer, which is a bit more watered down because I like the fact that you can see through the paint. The shadows are also watered down quite a bit and I'm adding more water as I move away from the darkest part, making it a gradient. All of the materials I'm using are listed below, so you can look them up and recreate this completely if you want. I then added some highlights using the same technique by adding a bit more water every time I wanted to have the gradient. Then I'm painting on the seeds of the pomegranate, which are a lot more opaque, so they stand out. I'm making them smaller and bigger, so it looks more lifelike and it looks a bit like they're stacked together. making the moon a bit more 3D by adding really watered down paint. Then giving the owl a face by starting with some opaque white. And then making it more watery when I'm doing the feathers.
also making the feathers darker and adding some shadows and an extra color to make the feathers look more varied. adding a bit more detail then the oak leaf again using watered down paint and adding lots and lots of water to make smooth transitions and some highlights to make it look more 3d Then the fig, also a bit watered down paint because I want the base layer to shine through. And now adding new paint, darker paint. To paint the seeds, adding some lighter paint on top of it to create more depth and highlights. Then I'm using a very dry brush for the wings of the moth, which gives it a feathery effect. using dry paint for the collar and then very fine lines for the feelers. Then I'm adding some very watered down paint again to make some depth. Then it can dry completely. It's time for details. I'm using a dark pencil to create shadows in the seeds and also adding some shadows behind them to make them pop out a bit more. I'm also adding an outline because that's just what I prefer to do, but of course you don't have to. adding the veins to the leaves. You could also use a black fine liner. I like a pencil, but if you use a fine liner, you would have some more contrast. I'm then using a Holbein soft white pencil, which is one of the best pencils to use for highlights, I think, because it's very opaque. And I'm using it to highlight the seeds, make them juicy, and to add some other small highlights to make them pop out. And then I decided that some of the lines weren't dark enough, so I added some black fine liner to it.
Then onto the leaf, I'm adding some colored pencil to it to give it some more interest. And then the darker pencil again to draw on the veins and give it all the detail I want it to have. I later added some highlights as well. Then onto the fig, which is basically the same process. Adding dark pencil for some outlines and some shadows and adding a white pencil for the highlights. For the moon I used a pencil that was a bit lighter because I wanted it to integrate into the moon itself. And I used a marker pen for the stars and to make the eye pop out. pencil didn't really work so I used a brush pen to give him a nice blue eye that stands out and then gave him a nice black pupil with a fine liner and a dot to make his eye twinkle. Then on to the barn owl. I started with a lighter pencil to sketch out his face. And then moved on to a darker pencil for the details and the shadows, filling in its eyes and leaving a small white dot to make his eyes twinkle. which I later covered because I didn't think it had full coverage, so I later covered it with some black fine liner to make them pop out more. And then just moving down the bird, adding feathers, details, using darks, for the shadows and the white pencil for the highlights. With the moth, it's the same process. Darks for the shadow parts and the outlines and white for the highlighting.
And there they all are. I poked a hole in them with a the knife tool. Please be careful when you do this because it's really sharp. And then I used a golden string to make it look festive. And that's the result. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and happy holidays.